Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, crank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha. We are back with another mukbang. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the boy. Well, you might not have subscribed, but if you haven't, check us out and see if you want to subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing homemade spaghetti. And we got ground turkey. Ground turkey. Ground turkey versus and tofu. Yeah. We got sausage. Ground turkey and sausage. Okay. And then we got some questions from the subscribers. Yeah, I asked you guys on the community tab. Alright, so we're gonna be answering y'all question y'all's questions. And let me tell y'all why, because I don't want to play no games. I don't want to play any games, no challenges, no pranks, no nothing like that. I'm just trying to eat this. Is, she don't want to play with her spaghetti today. This is rigatoni with marinara sauce, actually, but we call it spaghetti. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're back. Fake back. Whoo! Yeah. You already know we had to have Stephanie's stuff. Oh, so please, may I have some? We got the um, cucumber tomato salad here. Mm -hmm. I want to do it this. I want to move this bread. Okay. Two. My baby, baby is hungry too, y'all. She was licking her lips. Yeah. And My shit cold. Waiting on somebody. I'm gonna eat. Oh God. I need to tell y'all what I did. <laughs> I tried to make some tofu spaghetti for the first time, you guys. I ended up baking the tofu and it kind of turned it into a fake little ground beef crumbles. Mm. And here we are. Mm. This is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. If y'all haven't tasted this cucumber thing that Stephanie makes, mm, probably haven't. Mm -hmm. Look it up online. It's on there. What's it called? Cucumber tomato salad. Online, like mm. from us? No. Oh. The recipes are pretty much the same, except you put a little <laughs> extra. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. From what I've seen other people do, I add um, lemon juice. Italian seasoning and Parmesan cheese. Mm. Everything else is pretty much the basic recipe. It's crazy. I taste pig ass. Um, it's fine. Sometimes, you know, when I eat uh, pork, mm -hmm. I don't always taste it. Maybe it's the pig. Maybe I don't really like it with the Italian sauce. You, know? you don't? Mm -mm. So you don't like my spaghetti because I always make it with Italian sauce. I know. I don't really like the Italian sauces. Oh, okay. Right now it tastes pig assy, but that's fine. I'm still going to eat it. Mm. That spaghetti is good. I just don't like when I taste the sausage. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. You know, I'm gonna taste yours. Mm. <laughs> good. You don't like it? Yeah, but I know you ain't gonna like it. Cause I know how I you are. know. Cause I know how you are. Especially with spaghetti. If it ain't her spaghetti, she almost don't never like it, y'all. Get those stuff. I'm just gonna get this. I love it. <laughs> okay. I do like it. I think I would definitely season the uh, meat a little different though. Okay. What'd you do? I used the recipe of somebody that said to do soy sauce, garlic, and I taste the soy blah, sauce. Blah, blah. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. put soy sauce this time. For a spaghetti, yeah. I would do a beef, beef broth. Beef. Mm -hmm. A beef broth. Right. Okay. But I will still put the Italian seasoning on it. So I'm going to try it again a different way. Mm. But I like the little baked crumbles. I like the um, tofu, you guys. I might, you know, eat it sometimes. So I just started watching um, Tokyo Tony's Love <laughs> Dating Show. Dating Show. That shit. So the dating part is so fake, but it shit is hilarious, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, very entertaining. So on the show, y'all, they have like a bunch of different men and one woman. They had a gay man. Most of the people are definitely not her type. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like silliness. Mm-hmm. But one thing that she said or says pretty often, she don't like kissing y'all. 
she basically doesn't like any type of romance romantic or loving gestures like she she was like i don't like men touch my face she don't like, like being purchased flowers yeah mm. yeah but with all that said she loves to toss salad maybe she's a vegetarian <laughs> So I'm just thinking. Now I'm sure some of y'all out there, because I've heard people say they don't like the kids too. They ain't into, you know, that. But I was just thinking, you don't want to, she thinks it's disgusting to kiss, but you fine mm. with tossing that butthole. Mm. That's a lot. Help me understand this, y'all. For the people that hate, that hate mm. foreplay. A lot of people say they don't like to kiss too. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe they don't like. Can you have me a parmesan cheese? Mm -hmm. Tongues, spit, but do you okay? <laughs> I me, mean, if you put in your mouth, if you don't want to put your mouth on stuff, don't put it on nothing. Cause you know what I'm saying, you getting all kind of. Mm mm. From the butt. Mm mm. E. Coli. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what they like. Everybody she was them. all into that. I love tossing salad. What? Mm. <laughs> Y'all said, um, let's say if you were on a date with a girl, mm. um, first date and you guys bring up sex, mm -hmm. and she lets you know that she likes her toss. My birthday? Would you tell her right away? That I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Or would mm. you consider doing it? Oh, I would be like, I'm not into that. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, hmm. Okay. I mean, well, I might say, hmm, okay. I don't know. I think I would tell the truth. Yeah. I think I'd be like, yeah, I ain't really into that. Yeah. I'm but saying, I, would you say something at all? Or would you just like, oh, okay. I think I would say something. Knowing okay. me, I think I would say something. But I also would say, and I think this is an honest thing, too. If I really get into somebody and they really like something, I might try it. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't want to. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. But that's going to be a rare person. But they ain't going to just be with somebody I'm dating like that. Would you let them do that to you, though? <laughs> Go for it. Knock this up out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying this shit don't feel good now. Zippity doo dah. <laughs> okay. But what, okay. What if you was, this is a good question, too. Okay, so you're, you're on the date, like you said, person tells you that. Y'all are not ex exclusive, and you know that they see other people, mm. and they like I'm. I love tossing salad, and I do whoever. Ooh. Would that turn you off from wanting to be physical with? Them? Yeah, <laughs> it would definitely turn me off from kissing them. Right. I don't. I don't, <laughs> right. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. Somebody else butt juice. <laughs> and it's stupid because I'm sure they brush their teeth and. Hopefully, wash their face and all that. Mm -hmm. But just the, mm -hmm. just the thought of you mm -hmm. going around and random people trying to eat more of this so I don't pick out on the spaghetti mm -hmm. like I already have. I almost ate all the bread. Shit. I know I've been doing pretty good with my portion sizes, y'all. But yesterday, that damn Mexican food, I, I was so stuffed. I did too much. I've been stuffing myself a lot. That's why I didn't put a lot in this plate. Because I will sit there and eat it. Just put it sitting here. Um, so Alright, y'all, we about to get into the questions. Um, this is from Tobias Young. What's Shout up, out T -Y? to TY. Um but I don't know Tobias Young, go check out his channel. Have you emotionally prepped yourselves for Eli no longer living in the house full time with him going off to college? Nope. <laughs> I asked before you can be. Mm -mm, I haven't. Have you? I'm emotionally prepping myself currently, yeah. I mean, I'm not. Um, I'm not I don't know how I feel until he leaves, but right. I'm preparing. I've been going through the motions already, you know, thinking about it for months. So, yeah. I'm preparing myself, I think. I don't think it'll be a full shocker when he's gone. For me, I don't think it will be. Because I'm the type that 
push the emotions off as long as possible and then it just hits at some point because I'll worry myself to death if I don't do that you know what I mean mm -hmm. um, she said Stephanie do you have natural or relaxed hair natural that's a funny question I've had people ask me that my whole entire life really? and I've had a lot of people accuse me of lying <laughs> What? Maybe like you lying. Uh, people um, in the comments have too. How are you lying? Somebody said I had a perm and I was lying. I don't know. Why do you do people lie? even get perms anymore? I don't even think people really get perms like that anymore. How do people not get perms? I feel like they flat iron works really good, so they just do that. Oh. And most girls who get their hair done be wearing wigs and shit. Mm. Flat iron might not work for everybody. Well, it works very well for me, so. Um. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about if you. I don't either. You have a prime or, or relax, so I wouldn't lie. Mm -hmm. But but they do. People. I mean, I don't even do nothing with my hair, so why would I mm -hmm. <laughs> go and relax it for what to put it in a ponytail? Um, Allison I, said, "I have a general question. What was the biggest lesson from your worst breakup? Not to waste my damn time. That's my biggest lesson. Is stop wasting time on stuff that's not working." Like, life is really too short to be sitting around waiting on things to change. Or just like, sometimes I feel like I was just in a relationship just because I had been in it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, fuck it, I'm still doing this, who cares? Not thinking, damn, my life could be a lot better if I just get out of this shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, not waste of time. Mom. Yeah. Okay, next question. Why are you guys so? Oh, I, thank you, Miss Unbeatable. So, why are you guys so amazing? Oh, thank you, Miss Unbeatable. God, your comment is unbeatable. Um, <laughs> Nene said, Do you still feel excited and happy to do YouTube videos after these few years, or has the feeling changed like the excitement and fun for doing the videos? <laughs> um, it depends on the type of video to me. Yeah. Like, if it's something new and you know where we're going to have fun then yeah i feel excited mm -hmm. um just the sometimes we don't have plant stuff planned sometimes it's stress stressful we got other shit going on not every day it's like oh yay i'm about to do a youtube video but it's a job just like any other job you know what i'm saying yeah. and i like when the paychecks come i'm very excited when those happen yeah so <laughs> kind of same as stephanie said someone said the other day in the comments um um you guys have to do challenges in order to get your views up and I didn't respond to her, but in my head, I was like, so? The whole point of YouTube for me is to make money. It's a job. Along the way, we have, uh, you know, gotten to know y'all, some of you guys, and love it. You know, love the, um, like, lives or whatever, you know, we don't do a lot of them. But this is a job. You're not always excited to go to work, but... Like Stephanie said, when we have like exciting videos, yeah, I'm excited. Like the taco, I like the taco Ooh, jelly bean. Yeah, like when we do mm -hmm. challenges, I enjoy the challenges more than just sitting here and, you know, <clears throat> eating. But it is frustrating because you got to figure out what challenge to do and what's going to actually be fun for us and what you guys are actually going to enjoy. Just imagine this every single day yeah. that we have to come out with a new idea. That shit hard, y'all. Yeah. It's not so easy. So you're not going to always come out with new ideas exactly. and who gives a fucking fuck? Because, <laughs> bitch... You don't come out with no ideas every day at your job. And if you do, congratulations. You should be the fucking CEO. <laughs> All right. But whatever. You know. No, it's not always exciting, but it is exciting um, to work. Yeah. And get a check. The Windsor fam say, have you ever experienced while eating? I'm sorry. Experienced discrimination while eating out or shopping together? And if you hold hands, do you get mm -hmm. stares? I think so. No. Mm -hmm. I don't think if they did think something they ain't say nothing. We both look mean as fuck. So <laughs> no, no, like, we're not what? mean, but <laughs> we look mean. So no. Yeah, and I think like in the areas that we stay stay in, or we have stayed in, it's like not like people don't see it all the time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like we stayed in some places where there's a lot of gay people. Yeah. yeah. Don't, this ain't nothing new. Yeah, we are pretty much like West LA. I mean everybody gay. They know about gay. Yeah. LA is just full of gay. Ain't nothing. LA is gay. If you not gay, you strange. Not just like Right. I mean, <laughs> Do you got Blue's Clues said, do you guys believe in gender roles when it pertains to a relationship? Would you date a feminine woman for Steph? And for Tasha, would you date a stud? I would date a feminine woman. Yeah. I mean, she been dating since she been with me. <laughs> Shut your ass up. No, I do not. 
I'm just no. Playing. If this relationship don't work, I'm I'm gonna try to fit with him, girl. For real? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Definitely. Me too. You are? For real. You ain't gonna try to stud if this don't work? Um would I date a stud? No. As far as ginger rolls, I wanna say something. Um I don't believe that people have to be a certain way. Like I, I don't have a standard of like my stud has to do this and has to do that. But I do like our roles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, whatever they are, I like them. Like, I like certain things about you mm -hmm. that I feel is your role. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's because that's just you, though. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm like, okay, these are the roles, and you got to do this, and I got to do that. You know what I mean? But I do enjoy, like, the differences in who we are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's talk about that, y'all. Okay. I do believe in gender roles. Mm -hmm. So, I have to take that back. Because... <laughs> yeah, you do. But it's not about... Um, we're the same gender. Right. So it's not it's about just, gender roles. It's about what I want exactly. in my feminine woman. Yes. What I and not what I believe is feminine because it has nothing to do with the, the dress it used to, the outfit. But there are certain things that it would seem as if if we looked at a heterosexual relationship that I was the male and she mm -hmm. was the female. Mm -hmm. Because it's just certain stuff you I, I need, I, I would appreciate and like, and that's what I need in my relationship. Um, if your child was in high school expecting a child and decided not to keep it, what advice would you give them? I would say good job. Great idea. Yeah, yeah great decision. Because you are too young to be trying to be a parent at 17 or 18 years old. Mm -hmm. You need to continue to be a child. Let me continue to be your parent. And you grow up. Mm -hmm. So you can be a good parent when you're an adult. And ready to be a parent. You know. Enjoy your young life. Darling dear. I agree. A lot of people have a problem with abortions. And I totally understand that. If you get pregnant and you don't believe in abortions. Do not have an abortion. It's the wrong thing to do for you. But if you get pregnant and you have no problem with abortions. Please have an abortion because you know that you don't want a baby. And I'd much rather that baby be gone than that baby be neglected in the house by himself. Maybe getting molested or whatever because you leaving them here, leaving them there, leaving them with your uncle or auntie that ain't taking care of them, the cousins doing stuff. Now, I know there's preventable measures you can take in order to not get pregnant, but there's also preventable measures to take in order to not have a baby. And that's called getting rid of it. I'm sorry to say that's just what it is. Yeah. We pro choice over here. We're pro choice, very much so. Uh, if Elijah got somebody pregnant and she wanted to keep the baby and he didn't want the baby, Oof, that's rough. That's see, that's that's not fair. But Swear, like, man. you should have you should have been careful. You know that you can't get pregnant if she can, and she has the control over whether she's having that baby or not. So you need to be able to do whatever you need to do. If you don't, then you know when you sleep with somebody, there's a choice. You're going to have a child. So you got to be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Um. That's like God, God telling you nanny, 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 motherfucker. You should have done what the hell you were supposed to do. Exactly. Protect yourself. Now I had a baby you don't Gentlemen, want. Gentlemen, protect yourself. Yeah. April said, well, I'd like to know how you two get over a disagreement when one happens because I'm having a hard time getting over the disagreement with me and my wife. I love that question. For me, it is. It's, it's hard for me to get over something that when I don't have a chance to um, express exactly how I feel. I feel like that's what keeps me in the moment of um, just feeling uncomfortably like I can't get back to our regular thing, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I haven't been able to let out how I feel. Mm -hmm. That's that's. I feel like that's my best way to get over it. By talking to you mm -hmm. and under, trying to understand how you feel about it. I Let me say how I feel about it and we hopefully come to some kind of resolution. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> part of what Stephanie said and also learn to be okay with the fact that you're not going to agree all the time you yeah. might not agree <laughs> with what this right. person feels mm -hmm. and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it the worst thing you can do is try to convince the other person to feel how you feel yeah, that's, not going that's like them trying to convince yeah. you to feel how they feel exactly. is that fair? no, no. you feel how you feel I feel how we feel, and we either gonna move on, or we gonna move the fuck on. That's you know? the thing, motherfuckers be hung up on trying to get the other person to agree, or you know, like let's get it to my, where I feel comfortable. You like you said, you just have to be comfortable with everybody being different. Period. Mm -hmm. Because look, you can end your relationship with the person you're with, 
that you didn't agree. Oh, she don't agree with me. Mm -hmm. I'ma end it. Mm -hmm. And get with the next person. And you guys have a, a, a different argument. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the same, but you guys don't agree. That's going to continue to happen for the rest yeah, of your life. Right. No two people are the exact same people. And if that person that you're with is the same exact way as you, you need to be careful. Because what they doing is just mocking you. They don't even have their own brain and personality. If that's what you want, then fine. Some people like that. Non-brain girlfriends. But... If it's something that's against your morals, then yeah, you gotta end it. If it's not, then you just gotta deal with it. Yeah. Shauna. <laughs> Ashana Howell said, as a mother, how do you explain to your child that you're attracted to the same sex? And what is the appropriate age to have that conversation with them? Uh, I told Elijah when he was five that I like, see Elijah was born into a lesbian relationship. You know, when he, I had a girlfriend when we decided to have a kid and it was Elijah and he had always seen me. I don't think he ever really he saw, saw me. Man. <laughs> he, he never saw me. Did man. he ask you that five or did you just say, okay, this is the day I'm going to say something? What happened was I kissed my girlfriend. I dropped oh, okay. her off at work and kissed her. Uh -huh. And he said, why did you kiss her? Oh, okay. So he knew. Yeah, but I don't even think that was his motherfucking question. It didn't have nothing to do oh. with a girl. He was just asking, why'd you kiss that bitch? Oh, okay. Why'd yeah, you kiss that person? Yeah, why'd you kiss her? Because right. he could stand It could have been anybody. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. It wasn't even that. And then when I told him that, he was like, okay. He didn't even give a fact. Now, with you never having any relationship with the same sex and now you're attracted to them, I mean, I would just tell my kid they your kid. What can they do? Mommy dates women. <laughs> exactly. And that's it. It ain't that big of a deal. People be making no. it seem like it's such a big deal. It's not. Your kids love you. If you make it seem like it's a big deal, they're going to start to feel like it's a big deal for no reason. <laughs> you know? The one thing that I liked about my parents is they never made me feel like things were weird. Like that people's alternative lifestyles were something that wasn't supposed to be. Right. You know what I mean? So I felt comfortable letting them know I was gay. Because they didn't make me feel like anything. there was anything wrong with it. You know? And then there's nothing wrong with it. Right. That's what I'm saying. And wasn't your mom bisexual? <laughs> was. She still is. <laughs> okay, Beyonce hit her up. Let her she said Beyonce is her type. I was like, okay. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. She, she like fancy girls. I was like, okay. All right, peace. Yeah. So.